Hi, I'm Kristen with Aero.com, and today I'm here with Pete Jenner, a field application manager from Weller. With over 30 years of experience in the soldering industry, he's here to give us some guidance on how to prep your brand new soldering iron tip. Whether you solder at home or you manage a 100 plus soldering station in a manufacturing facility, soldering tip preparation and maintenance are key for ensuring quality work and long life of the product. So Pete, walk me through what you recommend doing with your brand new soldering iron. Uh, thank you very much for having me. Uh, what I'd like to do is first about talk about uh, how a soldering tip is manufactured, give you a very brief uh, description of that. If you look at this soldering tip, the working end of the tip is coated with iron plating. The inside of this soldering tip is all copper that transfers heat very effectively. If you look at the discoloration from here down, that's a chromium plating. And the reason that we plate that with two different styles of plating is solder wants to wick towards the heat. And the working end of the tip is really all we care about. So your job as solderers is to keep that iron plating intact for as long as you can on the soldering tip. And that tip is wetted properly during the soldering process for effective heat transfer. So the first thing that I'm gonna show you is when uh, you tin your soldering tip brand new out of the box. The biggest enemy with a soldering tip is uh, oxid uh, oxidation, tip oxidation. And the first thing we do to get around that is when we tin a brand new soldering tip, we don't tin that at 800 degrees or 700 degrees. We lower the temperature down to about 500 degrees. Uh, it's not uncommon for a brand new soldering tip to be oxidized out of the bag. We try to clean these tips when they come out of the factory. Occasionally, there'll be a little oxidation, perhaps a little moisture or whatever that's in the, in the uh, bag as you pull it out. And you'll know that because you'll see the solder wire ball up on the end of the iron plating. And there's a simple way to get around that with a brand new tip. So we're gonna let the flux that's in the core of the wire uh, do its job and remove that oxidation so that we get a good intermetallic bond uh, on the brand new soldering tip. So all we simply do is we're gonna tin that iron plating. My hands are shaking, sorry about that. Like that. And we're gonna clean it off in here. And now that tip has a good intermetallic bond with the solder and the soldering tip. And now we're gonna be ready to solder. If you notice uh, that we have, on this particular station, we have uh, a dry tip cleaning system on this side. And over on the other side, we have a sponge. Both are acceptable. We use dry tip cleaning systems more frequently these days because of the advent of lead-free solder. Lead-free solder eats the so uh, plating off of a soldering tip at a much faster rate. So by using the dry tip cleaning system, we insert the tip into the dry tip cleaning system. We don't fling it like this. We put it in, we turn, pull out, and put it back in. That particular uh, Iron or the uh, tinning that's on the soldering iron uh, will stay on the tip uh, rather than wiping it completely off on a sponge. So we're, the, the whole goal is to pre prevent oxidation. So when the soldering iron is in the holder and you're gonna go off on a break or leave your soldering iron, you always wanna tin your soldering tip while it's right in the holder. Get put plenty of solder wire on there and then turn your station off, and that particular uh, solder is gonna be encapsulating the soldering tip and preventing that oxidation from happening. So every time you go on break or you go on, uh, uh, you turn your station off at the end of the day, tin that soldering tip before you turn your station off. And then use that dry tip cleaning system, especially if you're using lead-free solder. And the sponge that's on the other side Remember, Weller makes sponges specifically for soldering with hot temperatures. Don't bring a sponge in from, from home and don't drench this with Im uh, immense amounts of water. Use deionized water, not regular tap water. It removes the contaminants that are in the water. 
which will get onto your soldering tip and cause you soldering problems. And this particular station, our WT station, if you prefer to use a sponge versus the dry tip cleaning system, all you have to do is turn your stand around and there you go. You're, now, you, now you're using the sponge. So that's how you get started and we'll talk more about uh, oxidation and how to take care of that problem uh, in the next presentation.